-hmm. Well, now you're going to show us yes. what you do? Yes, and I'm okay. going to actually do a little painting. What I have already done um, on this piece, done the lettering as I described earlier, painted the central flower, and I'm working on the border here, which mm -hmm. is a, an intricate pattern of the Virginia creeper that Yates mentions. And um, I have laid out very lightly in pencil um, all of these leaves, and then I've gone with my crow quill pens and brushes and done just the general outline so that when I'm painting with the watercolors, um, I know where the edges are, mm -hmm. and, and mm -hmm. I'll get get a hard edge on it. Um, anybody who's ever worked with watercolors uh, knows that that control is um, the central issue mm -hmm. with them. And so I'm using the watercolor technique that any watercolorist would use on a large scale. Only mine is is a miniature scale. Okay. It's the same process. And uh, get away. <laughs> And the first thing I do on any given leaf is just to lay down my wash, normal part of the watercolor process. And now I'm going to go in with the color, and this is really the fun part. All of a sudden, all of a sudden it'll start to come alive. You'll have to tell me whether or not you think we're getting enough of this to, for it to be visually informative. So I have some yellow mm -hmm. down there. Now this is where the magic comes in. The leaf's there, but now you add, now I add. Oh, wow. Yeah, and all of a sudden, a really flat-looking piece starts to, starts to really mm -hmm. come alive. And this also gives you an idea of how long it takes, mm -hmm. um, because I'm spending Oh, two or three minutes, just painting one part of a mm -hmm. leaf. It's not even the whole flower because the Virginia creeper, um, as we all know around here, because the Virginia creeper grows. This is still in that one corner on that. On the same leaf, right. yeah. Uh -huh. The Virginia creeper, a leaf actually is comprised of five parts to it. Uh -huh. So we'll see if I can complete one leaf in, in the time before everybody <laughs> falls asleep here. Um, people often say they'd like to see me demonstrate, but you get an idea now mm -hmm. um, that uh, it's really a long, long drawn out process. But um, when I'm in my studio working, um, I just get lost. What I'm going for in a border like this is a uniformity that um, graphically and visually is going to to look nice, and mm -hmm. yet each leaf will reflect the variety of nature in the same way that you would go out and look at, at um, a mass of Virginia creepers. Mm -hmm. And the closer you look, even though you think, oh, all of those leaves are the same, um, when you look close, they all have their character. Um, it's just like people. Um, we have a great deal in common, and yet we all have our wonderful variations. See, I try to leave a little light shine through. That's what mm -hmm. really makes mm -hmm. them, gives them depth and character. Mm -hmm.